what's up what's up you guys so it's your girl april and today's video is going to be an easy five by five lace closure hunties and this is being brought to you by asteria hair so check them out they have some really inexpensive units and they have definitely been around for a while so let's go ahead and put this wig cap on i normally don't wear wig caps but because my hair is short i'm just trying to you know make it fit and do what it do so as i stated this is a 24 inch 5x5 5x5 hd closure unit it is 24 inches in length and it is their virgin brazilian deep wave so i've worked with asteria hair many many times before and as you guys know i'm not like the hugest fan of closures due to my thinning edges but girl because i cut my hair short i can pull the wig back just a little bit a tad bit on the sides and let my naturalness come through baby okay now i really didn't want to do any type of baby hairs with this i'm not like the hugest fan on baby hairs but let's be honest i will do some here and there so you guys know my normal you know i parted i'm gonna go ahead and cut these hairs like shorter because i don't want them too exaggerated i just don't but you know what you do what you do make yourself happy girl now when i did receive the wig i did bleach it after i showcased it on the mannequin head and then i went ahead and allowed my purple shampoo to sit on for a couple hours just to take out any brassy tones that appeared on the lace it's always best to do that because you don't want that orange tint now y'all already know the foam that i'm using is by mark anthony and i absolutely love this foam i get it from amazon it's a little bit over ten dollars but it's definitely worth it the actual consistency is amazing it stays its foam appearance for so long it doesn't get watery when you're putting it on the back of your hand like how i do it stays the foam so I guess that's the price you pay when you get, you know, good foam. Now, as for the unit itself, it was really easy to manipulate, but I would give you guys a word of wisdom, my advice, my suggestion. When you have curly hair, some people will wet it on a daily basis and that's fine. But the one thing that I will suggest is to co-wash it. The curls are much juicier and more defined when you wash it. However, when you are just spritzing it daily, it's going to have a more stringy like curl appearance. So I do prefer to wash my curly units. When I do spritz them with water, I do make sure that there is a conditioner in the bottle it doesn't have to be a lot just a little bit and it doesn't have to be a leave-in conditioner any conditioner will suffice as long as it's in your water bottle this will help the hair not get dehydrated you want it to stay moist you don't want your hair to look brittle so i would always suggest spraying some water with conditioner in it now, I'm 
I'm also going to be using some of that same foam, which is by Mark Anthony. And the foam is actually a curl enhancing foam. However, I like to use it for everything because of the price and it works well with all type of hair textures, especially if you're trying to lay down flyaways or just control and tame the hair. It's really great for that. But if you're going to use it in curly hair, I would highly suggest making sure the hair is wet and not just applying it dry. As you guys see, the part was on the right side, but then I decided, excuse me, is that the right? The, whatever side it is. I decided to, you know, switch it around. I was really undecided about this hair. So just bear with me a second while I go ahead and just fix the unit to my preference. But either way, either side, either middle part, it looks good in any particular Parting, you just need to make sure that you own it, girl. Own that wig. So I did decide to put it in the middle part and I think it looks rather cute in the middle part. Y'all know I really don't do a lot of middle parts due to my long head. Um, yeah, I try not to do uh, too many middle parts. It depends on the style. But for this one, you know, I feel like the middle part will do great. But girl, listen, I'm going to change it again and see how it looks on the opposite side. And then we'll go back to the very end of the middle. This is what you call being undecided, not sure, trying your best, trying to make sure that the wig looks not like a wig, but more visible. I, I just want to be the one who loves. I just wanna be the now, as you can tell from the curl pattern, they're not as deep as it would have been when I first started to apply the wig. That's why I say when you are wearing a curly wig, you will see the difference in thicker curls if you are to co-wash it. So I do prefer to co-wash it versus spritzing water on it, but I could definitely understand if you're in a rush and you can't co-wash it every night then you could definitely spritz it, but just make sure you have some conditioner in there and try to use like a curl enhancer. It always works best. Back to the middle part, baby. Back to the middle part. And I think the middle part did me justice, but with a closure wig, girl, you don't really have to take it um, and remove the part. You can just shift it to the side, honey. Do you, baby? Do it like it's your day, okay? But check out Asteria Hair. They got some really nice units. This is their 5x5 closure, really super affordable, 24 inches, deep wave. Honey, y'all already know what I say about a curly unit. You ain't really got to do much, but you can definitely straighten the unit and wear her straight or in like a body wave type of curl pattern. It's up to you, but make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love y'all all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I just want to be the one. Face the heat and maybe make a promise.